Yo, what up, everybody? It's me, Trickster Shadow, and I know I'm a day late to this because the archives came out yesterday as of the recording of this video, but better late than never. Uh, so if you guys don't know what this video is, essentially we're trying to save blood points for the next chapter release, the way that we're saving blood points, because, of course, you know, uh, we can only store up a million blood points uh, on the cap. And so this thing that we're doing here is to try to save up blood points beyond the million blood point cap try to have a little bit of extra reserve that we can dip into whenever the next content releases and so the way that we're doing that is we're going through the archives and we're completing the archives but we're having a special pathing with the archives to where we save some of the challenges you can see that this one's done but i just haven't claimed it so that's an extra twenty-five thousand blood points that i just have stored right there and these ones i'm going to store as well i just haven't done them yet and so the plan is that we're going to leave them stored until the next uh, new killer or new survivor comes out. And then at that point, I'll use my million blood points that I'll have at the cap. And then after I do that, then I'll claim these, get a little bit extra boost of blood points, dump it into whatever I want. And that way, even before I play a single game, I'll have like a two or, th two or three million blood points just dumped into the new killer, or new survivor without even playing a single game. And so... I have actually mapped out all of the tome levels for this archive. Uh, this is courtesy of the DBD Onto website. I'll link that in the description as well, as well as these images. So if you want to go into the description, pull these off at Emger, what I'm, which I'm going to link. Uh, you can link it to your friends. You can show it to people that play DBD. You can use it yourself, save it to your computer. I don't care. Just spread it around, use it. I, this is just made for the community. Don't have to give me any credit. It's just I'm hoping that this helps people out because I know people enjoy like min-maxing like I do. And so, as you can see, this is, these are the images that are going to be linked. The M stands for Master Challenges, which are the challenges we're trying to save. And then the circled ones are the ones that you save, so that you claim whenever the next content releases. And then the green line are the ones that you claim in order to get to the Master Challenges or to, uh, to end the rift. And you can see that we sacrificed some of them, but that's just how it is. We're trying to complete the entire rift. And then we got level 2, which level 1, I should go back, saves 235,000. Level 2 saves 295,000. Level three saves 490,000, which level three is going to be coming out a week before the new content, most likely. And so you're going to have about a week to grind for this, but it's possible. And then if you choose to do so, uh, you can save level four for the June content release, which is going to be a, the next new killer after the the March one. So if, you, if you're crazy and you want to do that, then you, you can save it. But yeah, this is going to come out after the next DLC. But if you want to save it, there's also that. And it saves 510,000. And if you're curious about other ways of saving blood points besides the archives, so this will save you uh, close to a million blood points, I believe. Yeah, those three archive, three archive levels. Uh, the first three ones, I mean. You can also save through rituals. So this saves about 140,000, I believe. Blood points is the highest blood point value daily. 60k, 45k, and 35k. So 140,000 extra from that. And then you can also save up 16,000 shards. If you have all the perks in the game, then you'll need 8,000 shards to buy out the shrine once. But the thing is, the shrine resets on Tuesdays, and usually the new content comes out on Tuesdays, which means that you can buy the shrine twice. You can wake up in the morning, buy the shrine, spend all your blood points, and then like go to work or whatever, and then you can come back and then you can buy the shrine again when it resets have another 600,000 blood points that it gives you for a combination of 1.2 million because these give you uh, 600,000 if you buy all four of them so that's 1.2 million from that that's another million from the archives a million blood points saved 145,000 for this the the dailies and so you're saving over 3 million or yeah it, it should be over 3 million blood points without even playing a single game and if you don't know you need about 1.2 million in order to uh, actually prestige and so you'll be able to get multiple prestiges out of this especially if you get some pretty good spending on the blood webs and yeah this is just something for min maxing if you guys enjoy this please consider liking and subscribing uh, if you have any better pathings or if you have any other ways to save blood points i would love to know about it you can put it in the comments down below uh thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next video bye bye everyone